Salutations, ladies and germs. My name is Miss Fox, and welcome back to Days Gone. Now, where is that little horde of zombies? I saw. Whoever put that radio there, the best. For whatever reason, they don't seem to care about me, and I'm fine with that. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> Shit. A lot of things died here. Hey, what's up, man? You want bounties? Cause I got your bounties. Busy, huh? Hey, good to see you. You got bullets? Hey, Blair. How's life? Uh, I need bullets. Good choice. Good one. Hmm, that should work. Okay. I just want you to sell me explosives, okay? Okay, then. And apparently we're nowhere close uh, to hitting good. rank two. Back soon, huh? Oh god, what do you need from me now? Don't send me into the place. That that farm. That farm is death. Alright, there's easily over a thousand. A horde, a thousand strong there. There is no way in hell I'm taking hey, care of that. Came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Yeah, boozer. Hey, you can't go, be come, in here, on, come on, hey, come what's on. Come on, Deacon. How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh. Don't mess around with me. I, I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. What? The anti They're animals. not enough. Mm -hmm. Never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <sighs> Look, all we can do is wait. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yeah, in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home. I don't have a home, Addy. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. Ripper camp. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna wanna see this. Just just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. 
The plane? He's doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. One hour Getting it? Shit. Medicine, doctor shit, and cargo hold freaks. full of it. Damn. Maybe even Four. some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the you fucks. Group together like antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Like Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? No. Let's talk inside. All right. We'll save him. Drifter. Send me in. He's working in the control bullets. tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it. Now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this. Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Shit. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. All right, I'm going you know in. I'm saying? I know what you're I got saying, enough bullets. I probably close. should get a sniper rifle. As we all know, I don't have anything to make freaking arrows. How do I get out of this place? Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. So, where's the thing? I don't see any things yet, so. Oh, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo. I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John out. But... I have been doing that. Looking to buy, Hope. And helping hey, everyone. Life. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Sure. All right. No one needs anything. It's weird. Hey, St. John. Where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your goddamn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, we should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Where's that horde of zombies? <laughs> no, you feet up here. So where are you? Huh. 
It's making sound. The zombie horde being around, but I don't see any zombies. Yes, a zombie, not the horde. Who's your horde friends? Huh? I didn't have enough bullets to finish them off last time, so where are they? You guys aren't the horde, oh my Where is your horde? I am getting very proficient at killing these dudes. Best purchase ever. Like none of you made it to the feeding ground. Wow. And so long, Horde. a really great place to fight a horde. You know, you're just...
Why are you semi-automatic when you can be fully automatic? Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is, I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe that should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. No. Enemies. I'm trying to be sneaky, so if you could be so kind as to. Yes, just keep going about your business as usual. Nothing exciting is happening over here. There's no need to cause all this mayhem. We can all just get along peacefully, quiet. Ooh, you had a Molotov, thank you. And kerosene, and bullets. You guys are, you guys are special to me. What do we have here? Gun. I feel like going better quietly. I know someone's going to be bothered by the fact that I'm not using a machine gun. But to be fair, I don't think my silencer is going to be much use on that. Just made more sense to lock gate here instead of using a car, guys. I feel like that would have been a lot easier. Oh, 
Oh my Jesus! See, the point of wearing a helmet is kind of negate you're wearing a hockey mask. I'm very disappointed in you, sir. You know why I was able to kill you? Because you were wearing freaking hockey pants. Two, maybe wear full protection so I, I'm not just left with the option of shooting in the chest to get it done. That just seems like a colossal oversight on your part. Like a really big one you probably should have seen coming. I mean, you guys are pretty dumb, so maybe you didn't see it coming. You're like, ah, the great cause of Valhalla will witness me. So freaking stealthy. But you all forgot I could stealth, didn't you? Yeah, probably did. Considering how guns blazing we've been lately. Just slipping in there like a green beret. Ain't nobody seen me coming. Except that one dude. He kind of saw me. Just break our line of sight with him, and then trick him into eating magic mushrooms. Man, your senses are like super heightened. Done yet? Sir? Sir, you're, you're, you're not hitting me. This is just getting embarrassing. You're very bad at your job. I hope you know this. Silencer on a fully automatic, fully automatic weapon probably wasn't my smartest idea. I mean, I know it works with this, but the pistol, eh, I don't know. Say that again. Ooh, cutscene? Cutscene! That's bad. Oh. And this is why I thought it best for us to get the uh, thing that allows us to... Maybe we should have got the machine gun.
were supposed to grab me so I can insta-kill you out of that. Are we doing it loud? Are we doing it loud? I feel like we're doing it loud. You think I won't blow us both up? can see his leg bone. Look at that leg bone. Oh. We gotta get a close up of that. Look at that. Look at that leg bone. Look at the graphics just going to shit when I zoom in too far. <laughs> okay. Hopefully no one heard all that. Well, I feel like that's a little too much to ask. Kids, back away. How many times are you going to peek before you figure out we're just going to shoot you in the face? You guys done? That was one big bastard. I really hope I never see one of them in the horde. Yes. You should be fine, right? I don't think anyone really heard me. Or anyone's alive left here, for that matter. If you try to stop me, just know I've taken down a big son of a bitch. There ain't nothing you can. Oh, you get here so fast, Bike. Fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, are you there? Shh! This is Ricky, over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, God. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. I feel like something went wrong. Like, really, really wrong. How many Rippers do you think died of infection from cutting themselves? Yeah. I feel like that might be a common problem. Or do they, like, treat themselves afterwards? Wait. Let's take it. Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! What was left of it? Yeah. What was left of it? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had to run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? <laughs> I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? Wait, hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. But I killed all of the things for these medicines. Come on. You, you damn die on me. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know 
what you're talking about. The crash site, the medical supplies, it's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Half that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Because they fucking put me in this position. I told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Have you seen what the Rippers have been doing? They kidnapped that kid, did that to her face. There was a reason Boozer's so all banged up. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself. Yep. Because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, Earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. I feel like you're gonna regret that when the horde of anything comes this way. Your back door is completely exposed, lady! You don't even have a back door! You just have an open little swamp. Have you seen what I've seen out there? At least three hordes would have crashed through here if I didn't take him out. I cleared out all the nesting zones. I killed a giant hulk motherfucker up in the mountains. Took two explosives and like all of my honor. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addy, what's going on? Boozer, <clears throat> go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, what? we need take to do arm. this and we need to do this yeah. right now. Do what? No. Don't you! F oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no, De no! You're not! No way! No, you're not going to do this. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is going to save the arm. Now, listen. I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him. Wait. Deacon. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Hey, pal. Oh. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Did you have any anesthesia? Oh, shit. No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the door. No! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking. I'm crying. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer. Or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> and you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. Rippers. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot Killed of a lot lives. of them to get it. Sniper bullets to the face, auto rifles to the face on oh, that one dude to the stomach because the idiot was wearing a hockey mask. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <sighs> oh. 
I heard what you did. Wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. Not if you send me in to kill him. I hope you're volunteers tribute to go kill him. Let me in. Just give me all your bullets. I'll be a one-man Terminator machine again. You know? You did what had to be done. Mike. Wait up. How did they see me? Every Ripper I ran into died. <laughs> How did that gain trust? Oh my god, are you the devil he was talking about? Are you trapped between dimensions you're trying to get in? You were terrifying. Leave me alone! I didn't see nothing. I didn't hear nothing. How's life? Pretty shitty, dude. Uh, things slow out there? Just one? It was a giant dude, okay? Uh, okay. I need bullets. Hey, good to see you. Again. Hey, Blair. How's life? Um, okay. Now that's an upgrade. Here you go. Hmm, that should work. Can you not just yep. trust me enough to give me the stuff, please? Game, where do you want me to go now? What do you want me to do here? Research game? Deacon, you there? Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list tonight, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve them up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes these moves out, too, you know? Hey, listen. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us in. Thank you. <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Anywho, I think we'll end the episode here. Again, yeah, thank you, John. Are you there? so much for watching. Yeah. And I hope you all have an amazing day and stay classy. I guess after this cutscene. Well, Brian, I'm at one oh. of your beacons. Oh no, I don't want to be here. What do you nope. mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course. Of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. There's a horde of fucking zombies here, O'Brien! I recognize this place. There's a gigantic cord. Many of your friends are here. O'Brien? I told you they're not my friends. Okay, hit it on foot. What do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. Let's lock down. No, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The, the freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You, you want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. 
Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Then why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian out. Sound off, people. Clear over here. Let me save. Okay, I'm just going to take it as this game is saved so I can finally sign out. Doc, you're good to go. Do I have to do the outro again? I mean, you kind of already heard it. But anyway, stay classy. Have an amazing day. Thank you all for watching. No cutscene going to interrupt me this time. Ha! Take that, game. She got you little horns in the game, man.